or, or one or the other or both are easy on the rear tire and that's why he goes forward in the race well just imagine what damage for another titanic battle in turn master rio hondo 25 laps the motor gp race coming your way front row mark marquez the lights go out and it's a blistering start from Maver uh, from mark marquez maverick vinales has got it all wrong davizioso charges forward as well and his plan a has worked well for marquez he has the lead into turn one Vinyal has got absolutely swallowed off that front row of the grid. Rossi was sharp off the line, he's still in fourth place. It's Marquez and exactly where he wanted to be. Rossi trying to find a way up the inside of Jack Miller. No way through at the second corner. Marquez then from De Vizioso and Miller. Clear track in front of him. Will Mark Marquez go into escape mode? Is this already his move to make the crucial break? De Vizioso knows that if Mark gets clear track, he'll be gone. There is Valentino Rossi. Maverick Vinyal is his teammate just behind him. They're not going to get close to Mark Marquez. The speed of the Honda works so well this year. Is this it? Is this the last they'll see of Mark Marquez? And Rossi won't slipstream Jack Miller down that long back straight. There was a touch there. Franco Morbidelli on Cal Crutchlow as they swept through turn number five. Lucky escape there for last year's race with a lucky escape there as well for former Moto2 winner Morbidelli. Close contact. Maverick Vinales, despite that poor start, recovered well, actually. He's really got to do the business now. He's got to try and find a way through on Jack Miller. Just behind Davizioso, there is. Uh, sorry, behind Miller, there is Valentino Rossi. And in the background, Maverick Vinales does make a move on Jack Miller. He has been true to his word, then. Vinales getting the gloves off. He's getting aggressive. Jorge Lorenzo's had a nightmare start. He was 12th on the grid. Lorenzo's been pushed back for 21st place. Shocker for the Spaniard. Here we go, then, up towards this uh, final sector here in Argentina. And Valentino Rossi is up into second place. That will make the crowd go wild. He goes through on Davizioso, but Mark Marquez, across the line, has a one-second lead. Yeah, Davizioso, just look at the power and the grunt of the Ducati out of the final corner. He blitzes effortlessly through again on Valentino Rossi. Nothing Rossi could do about that. The Ducati stripping the paint off the side of Rossi's M1. The last thing Valentino Rossi needed, and he's not going to be able to make a move down the back straight on Davizioso with the power of that the Caddy Shawley. Jack Miller's gone back through on Maverick Vinales. Cal Crutchlow still there in touch as well. He's sixth ahead of Morbidelli, Petrucci, Nakagami and Quattararo. This is exactly what Mark Marquez needs. They're playing into his hands here. Davizioso and Rossi getting into a bit of a dogfight for second place. Marquez with clear track in front of him. He's just stretching away, already through the first sector on lap two. He's one and a half seconds clear, and Jack Miller he used the slipstream to fire on through by Valentino Rossi. Cal Crutchlow's picked his way through on Maverick Vinales at turn number five. And Morbidelli will try and ride ambitiously around the outside of the Spaniard coming through turn six. They almost had contact there, but Mark Marquez, he's clearing off into the distance. Well, it gets worse for Maverick Vinales as Danilo Petrucci's trying to go through him on as well. Rossi and Miller really getting up next to each other here. Brilliant riding there from Valentino Rossi. He holds on to third place. There is Petrucci up the inside of Maverick Vinales. This is not going to plan for the number 12 at all. Well, everybody being aggressive on Maverick Vinales when he said he was going to do it vice versa. He's now coming under real pressure as well from Taka Nakagami, who's had a great race with them all weekend. Vinales will try and find his way back through on Petrucci coming into turn number 12. No way through. Davizioso holding firm. Rossi stuck in a Ducati GP19 sandwich right now. And while this tussle and tangle goes on, Mark Marquez with clear track, a 139.426. On that last lap, Mark Marquez was 1.3 seconds faster than Andrea Di Vizioso. Two laps of the Argentinian Grand Prix. Marquez, two and a half seconds clear of the field. They're not even going to see which way he goes here. Their only hope right now is that he either runs into tyre problems or he makes a mistake. It's a battle for second here right now in Argentina. Davizioso from Rossi, from Miller, from Morbidelli, who's had a really good start. Then it's Crutchlow and Petrucci. Well, Mark Marquez will feel this is exactly what he should have done one year ago. All the drama started when he stalled on the grid as Jack Miller again. Doesn't even have to work hard for that move on Rossi, does he? He just uses the 300 odd horsepower tucked underneath him in that Ducati motor to breeze on through past Rossi. Franco Morbidelli's having a real good ride. He's now getting a good look at his mentor. This was Morbidelli's uh, aim pre race. He said, if I can go with Valentino and learn from him, that'll be fantastic. You know what Rossi got in there tight on Jack Miller, and Morbidelli's about to ride around the outside of him almost, coming through turn seven and eight. Yeah, well, Morbidelli and Rossi, they do get racing, and this is the first oh, time Cal it's Cro happened. Sorry, Steve, Cal Crotchlow jumped the start. 
last year's race winner, jump the start, it's just flashed up in our comedy box. Cal Crutchlow, his podium hopes have completely evaporated. Cal Crutchlow's got to come in for a ride through penalty. He jumped the start, the British rider. What an absolute disaster for the number 35 on the podium last time out in Qatar. That puts an end immediately to any podium hopes he has here today. Yeah, a ride through penalty. That's going to flash up on Cal Crutchlow's dashboard now. Hopefully we'll have a replay very, very shortly of the movement on the line from Cal Crutchlow. I remember Crutchlow, he jumped the start a couple of years ago in Austria at the Red Bull Ring, one of a number of riders that jumped the start that day, but Cal Crutchlow's hopes then, they've gone. There'll be no podium return for Cal Crutchlow, just like he did in Argentina. There'll be no three successive podiums in MotoGP for the first time for the LCR Castro man. Here's Mark Marquez, he's 3.1 seconds clear. He's not even in the same shot as the rest of them. There's the helicopter shot showing you his lead with 22 laps to go. This is the battle for second. Davizioso, Miller, Morbidelli and Valentino Rossi, who's now trying to go up underneath Franco Morbidelli and almost gives his protégé a little nudge as well. Well, do not underestimate how close the mates and buddies Valentino Rossi and Franco Morbidelli are. Whenever there's a team event at the Dirt Ranch in Tavulia, these two are partners in crime. They are teammates, buzz and buddies, but there's no love lost out there right now. Yeah, well, he's always said and maintained, hasn't he, that once the visor's down, it's a different story. Friends have to be left behind. You just wonder, though, how long the Yamahas can hold in there with rear grip. Morbidelli and Rossi won't know, but they're not going to have to worry about Cal Crutchlow swarming all over their rear tyre, because Cal Crutchlow hopefully has seen the message flashing on his dashboard from race direction. He's got to come in for a ride through penalty after jumping the start. Well, he's sure. going to be absolutely... Guys, look at that by Mark Marquez. Simon. Just a thought on the Suzuki of Rins going forward, so, you know, in the, this race, but also in Qatar, I caught up with his crew chief, Manu, on the flight after Qatar, and he said that they had plenty of tyre left, a rear tyre, and uh, it's, you know, I think it's how they measure it, it's not tread depth, it's tyre weight. They, they, they measure basically how much, how much rubber is left on it. They can calculate exactly what rubber it's got left. And it seems like Alex and the Suzuki are or one or the other or both are easy on the rear tyre and that's why he goes forward in the race. Well, just imagine what damage he can do then, Matt, if he can find some speed on that super soft tyre during the qualifiers because that is what is costing him some serious points right now. Yeah, well, Q1 did for his challenge for the podium, didn't it, really? Rossi versus Davizioso for second place. They're two seconds clear of Jack Miller now, so... Here he comes. Miller's not going to get on the podium as well. Davizioso will try and defend this. Marquez is already starting his final lap. It's been a faultless performance from the world champion. Shocking performance by Mark Marquez. He's just on the 140.2. What's he flying at? It's now or never then for Valentino Rossi. Both of these guys desperately needed a podium here in Argentina. And at the moment, if they stay put, they'll get one. But both of them want second place. And Valentino Rossi here will have a couple of chances on this final lap. He's got to stay close to Davizioso on the back straight. He'll probably have a chance at turn seven. He'll almost certainly have a look at turn 13. Well, it looks like Valentino Rossi's long, long barren run without a podium is coming to an end. He hasn't been in that top three since the Saxon ring in Germany, way, way back in July. He's in third place now. He'll one second spot from Andrea Davizioso. He's not going to be close to photo attack. Davizioso in the breaking zone for turn number five. He's got some supreme corner speed as Valentino Rossi. He's got to be close to the tail of Davizioso here. He's not going to be close enough to do it into turn seven. Or is he? He's having a look. He's having a look. He sits up Davizioso. The crowd here go wild. 46 flags everywhere. He has made his move. And what he did there was, oh, Vinales and Morbidelli are down. The two Yamaha men are down at turn seven. Both of them beaten up. What Rossi did there was tactically brilliant. He just pushed Davizioso wide enough onto the dirt. Davizioso couldn't open the throttle because he's a high side. Mark Marquez, though, a masterclass here in Argentina. Mark Marquez crushes the opposition in Argentina. His first win of 2019. And now we wait for the podium battle. And at long last, Valentino Rossi is back on the top three steps it's second for number 46 and he's celebrating like it's a win 
And Davizioso takes third. And of course, what that means, Steve, Valentina Rossi taking second place. It's cost Davizioso a share of 